Hey guys, welcome to the Tom Reefer Studio. Today we're going to be working on the official six gallon tall. New viewers, this is the Tom Reefer Studio. I have a 20 gallon water box behind me. I made the 3.5 gallon Pico above it. Over here is the five gallon tall, as I call it, or it's closer to six gallons. Now it'll definitely be six gallons because I'm adding more water to the external overflow box. And right down here is the 10 gallon peninsula tank. Today what we're gonna do is work on the five gallon tall here on how to make more room in the tank and it's one of my obsessions. I like to do overflow boxes, exterior and interior, and it's a great way to save money if you wanna buy a cheap aquarium with nothing inside it. For example, my 10 gallon was a $20 tank from PetSmart, and I put an internal overflow box in it. And the five gallon I made from monitor shelves about a year ago, and I've never been really happy with the size and space inside. So what I've done is added an exterior overflow box to it, which will free up a lot of room inside, create better gas exchange. I can put the skimmer in there, I can put a pump in there, and I can really make a lot of space inside what's already a small space. So I got some glass from my glass guy, as I say, Johnny D's, and here's a little conversation I had with Johnny uh, last video. Hey, is this Johnny? Johnny, it's Tom. How long are you going to be there? Okay, great. All right, thanks a lot, Johnny. Take care. Bye. All right, guys, field trip to Johnny D's. Let's go get some glass. gallons. Johnny's a great guy. 20 bucks for this stuff right here. Awesome. <laughs> This isn't going to be a how-to so much, guys. I do have a how-to on putting aquariums together. I think I have one overflow box video on how to glue these together and one on my five gallon when I first built it. I believe it's five gallon tall construction or something like that. And I'm a little more detailed about how I silicone these sides together. It's pretty easy. do-it-yourselfer to do these things guys with overflow boxes they're not visible anyway so I'm no expert at the construction aspect I have a lot of years experience in reef keeping but I've always liked to do little things myself especially all right I've cleaned this off with acetone guys and now what I'm doing is whoops I gotta get the level it's going to be right in here and what I'm doing here 
is just drawing an outline so I know where the silicone is going to go because you want to put it on both surfaces. All right. So I put it up, guys, cleaned it up a little bit, and we're just going to have to let it sit there. I think I need tape because I did this. All right, next step. All right, here it is, guys. It's all attached. And what we'll do, I did a small test about two hours ago. I filled some water in just to see if it would leak out the bottom. It water tested great. So now what we're gonna do is fill it up with water and I'm gonna transfer my skimmer, the heater and the sensor for the ATO. And I'm gonna put all that in here and I'm gonna include a filter sponge to collect any uneaten food or the detritus. It really clears up the water doing it this way because you're collecting all your detritus in here. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do here now is fill up this with salt water. I have some already pre-mixed. We're gonna fill it up. We're gonna put the pump in. We're gonna test pump it first. Make sure the overflow is working without any leaks and then we'll move everything over. See, I don't want to fill this all the way up. I want to fill it to a point where it'll overflow. Not too low, not too high. I like to have some gas exchange, so maybe I'll put a little bit more in there. The water that's in here is going to get pumped into the five gallon, which is going to raise the water level up in the five gallon. So it's got to raise it enough so it pours over this overflow. I have about a half inch to three quarters of an inch of water in here. So when this water goes in here to raise this level, it's probably going to bring this down before it goes over. So I'm going to go with a little bit more. The water that's in here is going to get pumped into the five gallon, which is going to raise the water level up in the five gallon. So it's got to raise it enough so it pours over this overflow. I have about a half inch to three quarters of an inch of water in here. So when this water goes in here to raise this level, it's probably going to bring this down before it goes over. So I'm going to go with a little bit more. All right, the ceche is really small, guys. It comes with the feet. I'm going to put that on and see if I can rest it on the bottom. I measured this just to be safe. I think it should just be right. I don't want it to stick up too far and I have some elbows. So what I'm going to do to get this on is, it's, these sea chays are weird sizes. They say it's a half inch, but I think it's half inch exterior diameter. Cause everything is like a dream, yeah, but only in that dream that I live in. This is actually a PEX elbow. This is what plumbers are using now. Uh, the new plumbing is called PEX. It's all plastic. Everything is like a dream, yeah, but only in that dream that I live in. Oh, don't wake me up before you go. I also wanted to point out for new viewers, every Wednesday, I do what's called a Water Change Wednesday, and it's a question and answer format. So on Wednesdays, you ask a question below the video, and I'll answer it there, and then I answer it here, but only on Wednesday. Okay, so that's pretty intense flow right there. 
it's going up. I have not tested the leak test on this at all. So I can see, we're going to see how it's going down. It hasn't overflowed yet. Add a little bit more. And there it goes. See, it's overflowing. Acting really quiet already at this level. I'm gonna go about this level here. Alright guys, there it is. Let me get a little closer for you. I'm gonna change these wires here. This I just plugged in so I could reach it. So here's the skimmer. It's above the pump. My concern is sometimes the skimmer will spit out some of those micro bubbles down below. So I didn't want to push the skimmer down any further because then they may come up through the pump and come out into the tank. There's some now, but it's just started. There's some tweaking I have to do here. There's the heater. I didn't put the sensor in yet. There's the skimmer. I kept the skimmer up high here on that. This is gonna get a black cover. You're not gonna see this anymore. You'll see it from the side if you needed to, but that's gonna be turned. So here's the top view looking down. 